India will install indigenous anti-drone systems along the entire Pakistan border in six months, and currently three different systems are undergoing trials. A high-powered committee has submitted a report to Defence Ministry, to significantly increase budget of the RDO's Technology Development Fund. Russia has raised the issue of Indian 155mm ammunition reaching Ukraine through Europe, and MEA spokesman has asserted that India has not sent any ammunition to Ukraine. India and Nigeria have reached advanced level of talks for the sale of Tejas aircraft at a competitive price. Maldives president has again requested the Indian government to withdraw Indian military presence from Maldives, citing concerns about the impact on the country's democracy. The Ministry of Defence has signed 800 crore rupees contract for 697 bogey open military wagons and 56 mechanical minefield marking equipment Mark II. An integrated firepower exercise was conducted by Deep Strikers Division of Ahmi's Western Command at field firing ranges. India's premier electric motorcycle manufacturer Ultraviolet Automotive has unveiled its F-1000 hypersonic electric jet concept, that will be crafted from shape-shifting titanium-niobium memory alloys, allowing the wings to adapt according to the demands of supersonic flight. The F-1000 will feature dual electric engines powered by cutting-edge solid-state batteries to achieve over Mach 10 speed. Pakistan Air Force Chief has said, that the foundation for acquiring the J-31 stealth aircraft has already been laid, and it is all set to become part of the fleet by 2029, while on the other hand, the CCS approval to India's AMCA program has still to be accorded, and it is unlikely to be inducted before 2030. Experts have said, that the Indian Air Force should not wait for a fifth-generation aircraft for that long, and must procure two squadrons of Russian Su-57 as an interim measure, that has already seen combat in Ukraine and Syria, and also accelerate the AMCA by increasing funding and putting together larger teams, and also arranging foreign partnerships for the transfer of technologies. According to latest information, the Tejas Mark 1A is shaping up well both on design as well as on the production front. The certification flight testing is on track, and is heading towards completion. All important sensors have already been integrated, and two FOC aircraft have been given to Aeronautical Development Agency to incorporate systems specific to Mark 1A, that will undertake ground and flight trials with Mark 1A systems and upgraded software to fasten up the certification process and software validation of certain systems. Full structural assembly for Tejas Mark 1A is over, and the first aircraft is under advanced stage of equipping, and the first aircraft will be rolled out from the aircraft division of HAL. The RDO Center for Airborne System has developed and established electrical rig for aircraft systems, that will be used for testing of electrical line replaceable units of Tejas Mark II and AMCA. This is a unique test facility created for the first time in the country, and both Aeronautical Development Agency and Hindustan Aeronautics plans to use it for all future programs, including testing the electrical systems of UAVs and unmanned combat air vehicle. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, Mark, drop it.